Everybody hear me okay? My brother is a grown man with the mind of a child. Unable to articulate universal angst to express thoughts and emotions taken for granted, yet excitement often pours from him, living in the breaks of dialect. Fast moving hands, loud bursts, repeating phrases, all sounds of a forgotten language buried deep beneath concrete shackles of disability. The expressions of a lost people, I strain to find the meaning. Years ago, I discovered a way for us to connect. We speak in video games. Infinite possibilities and we're playing levels. Soundscapes of guns blazing, swords clashing. With all the furious lights and energy to stir the imagination, bringing forth the bridge. Visual media burned as a catalyst to homeschooling. YouTube and PlayStation after their schoolwork allowed countless attempts to get the phrasing just right. Over and over at all hours of the day, memorizing, recording. Understanding emerges, making communication slowly possible, while becoming an absolute badass in Mortal Kombat, Soul Calibur, and Marvel vs. Capcom. That's my woo, shit. Woo, woo. That's my shit. Tinkering with the colors and combinations of clothing for characters, we share opinions through the fashion choices of space pirates and world warriors. Yeah. yeah. The waters of conversation sometimes bubble up into frenzy. Choices become preferences, which evolve into favorites, culminating into personality. But some days, there is nothing but a brick wall. Regression in the childlike behavior where every question you ask is ignored. Motor skills are hard to recall. Eyes staring in directions further away from a normal life. Babies born spared this random collection of genes are molded like clay from the beginning into a reflection of its makers and the world around them for better or worse. Teaching my brother is scraping a knife across a tree, taking endless patience and diligence in perfecting an incomplete work of art. The average cost of behavior therapy for children with autism is 60000 a year. Oh my God. At 21, there will be no government programs to help provide care. I envy the inner workings of his mind. The fact that he does not yet have to know what it means to worry or to dread. I feel the corruption of the world around us. A smile on his face, a laugh that echoes to the roofs of this house, replaces the discussion we bury and never fully hold. I refuse to die while him becoming institutionalized for the rest of his life remains a possibility. My purpose, more than the words on a page that need to be written, to shape the mind of a boy into the strength of a man. Press start to begin.